answer any one of the following questions in about 40 to 60 words. Being an active member of the Red Cross Society, you are going to organize a program. On the topic, awareness of precaution measures during COVID-19 in your locality. Sketch out the plan of any two steps for organizing the program. 1. A. First, I would coordinate with local health authorities to gather accurate information and resources on COVID-19 precaution measures. Second, I would create promotional materials such as posters and social media announcements to spread awareness about the program and encourage community participation. 1. Q. Answer any one of the following questions in about 40 to 60 words. Online teaching learning process has brought a revolutionary changes in the learning style of upcoming generation in 21st century. List out any four advantages in the light of the statement. 1. A. The online teaching learning process offers flexibility, allowing students to access materials at their own pace. It promotes inclusivity by accommodating diverse learning styles and needs. It provides access to a wide range of resources beyond traditional textbooks. Additionally, it fosters collaboration among students from different geographical locations, enhancing cultural exchange and global awareness. Q. Answer any one of the following questions in about 40 to 60 words. Name any four welfare measures to be provided by employer under Indian factories. Act, 1948. 2. A. Under the Indian Factories Act, 1948, employers are mandated to provide several welfare measures for workers. Four of these include 1. Cleanliness, maintaining clean and hygienic workspaces. 2. First aid facilities, providing medical assistance in case of injuries or emergencies. 3. Drinking water, ensuring access to clean drinking water for employees. 4. Welfare officers, appointing welfare officers to address workers' grievances and ensure their well-being. 2. Q. Answer any one of the following questions in about 40 to 60 words. The occurrence of cybercrime is increasing at a very faster pace which has created a lot of problems in the normal life for human beings. Filing cyber crime complaints is the only way to protect them from such types of occurrences. Explain the situation with the help of an event. 2. A. The rise of cyber crime has indeed posed significant challenges to individuals' daily lives. For instance, the hacking of a major financial institution's database resulted in the theft of millions of customers' sensitive information. Filing cybercrime complaints not only helps victims seek justice but also serves as a crucial step in preventing further occurrences and safeguarding personal and financial security. 3. Q. Answer any one of the following questions in about 80 to 90 words. You have prepared a PowerPoint presentation on the blood donation camp organized by Red Cross Society. Mention four important contents to be presented on the slides. 3. A. In the PowerPoint presentation about the blood donation camp organized by Red Cross Society, essential contents should include 1. Introduction Brief overview of the Red Cross Society and the purpose of the blood donation camp. 2. Event details, date, time, and location of the camp, along with any registration requirements. 3. Donor information, eligibility criteria for donors, health benefits of donating blood, and the donation process. 4. 
Impact, statistics or testimonials showcasing the impact of blood donation on saving lives and supporting health care initiatives. 3. Hugh, answer any one of the following questions in about 80 to 90 words. Nowadays, online shopping has become popular amongst customers. In light of the Statement list out the two advantages and two disadvantages of online shopping. 3. A. Advantages. 1. Convenience. Online shopping allows customers to shop from the comfort of their homes, saving time and effort. 2. Variety and accessibility. Customers have access to a wide range of products from different vendors and can compare prices easily. Disadvantages 1. Security concerns. There's a risk of fraud or identity theft when sharing personal and financial information online. 2. Lack of physical examination. Customers cannot physically examine products before purchasing, leading to potential dissatisfaction with the received items. 4. Hugh. Answer any one of the following questions in about 100 to 150 words. Time management is considered as an effective instrument for smooth running of enterprise. Justify the statement with a suitable illustration. 4. A. Time management plays a crucial role in the smooth functioning of any enterprise. By allocating resources effectively, businesses can optimize productivity, meet deadlines, and maintain quality standards. For instance, consider a software development company working on multiple projects simultaneously. Effective time management ensures that each project receives the necessary attention without neglecting others. Prioritizing tasks, setting realistic timelines, and delegating responsibilities are essential components of efficient time management. This allows the company to deliver projects on time, satisfy clients, and maintain a competitive edge in the market. Thus, time management serves as a linchpin for organizational success by maximizing efficiency and minimizing wastage of resources. 4. Hugh, answer any one of the following questions in about 100 to 150 words. E-commerce portal has brought multi-dimensional changes in the global business. World, is this statement true? If yes, then explain four reasons. 4. A. Yes, the statement, e-commerce portals have brought multi-dimensional changes in the global business world, is undeniably true. Four key reasons for this transformation are. 1. Global reach. E-commerce allows businesses to reach customers worldwide, breaking down geographical barriers and expanding market potential exponentially. 2. Convenience. Online shopping offers unparalleled convenience to consumers, enabling them to browse and purchase products or services anytime, anywhere, leading to increased sales. 3. Cost effectiveness. E-commerce reduces overhead costs associated with brick-and-mortar stores, such as rent, utilities, and staff, allowing businesses to offer competitive prices and higher profit margins. 4. Data-driven insights. E-commerce platforms provide valuable data on consumer behavior, preferences, and trends, empowering businesses to make informed decisions, personalize marketing strategies, and enhance customer experiences. 5. Hugh, answer any one of the following questions in about 100 to 150 words. XYZ Enterprises has marked a grand success in the field of supply of dairy products. Within a very short period of time which reflects the result-oriented traits of an entrepreneur, you are suggested to analyze various traits of the entrepreneur which have contributed to attaining this achievement. 
5. A. The success of XYZ enterprises in the dairy product supply industry can be attributed to several key entrepreneurial traits. Firstly, the entrepreneur likely possesses a strong vision and foresight, identifying an opportunity in the market and capitalizing on it effectively. Additionally, they likely exhibit exceptional leadership skills, guiding their team towards common goals and fostering a culture of innovation and excellence. Their ability to adapt to changing market conditions and implement strategic decision-making processes would have also played a crucial role. Moreover, a relentless drive for success, coupled with a willingness to take calculated risks and learn from failures, would have propelled XYZ Enterprises towards their grand success in a remarkably short time frame. Overall, a combination of vision, leadership, adaptability, and perseverance likely characterize the entrepreneur behind XYZ Enterprises achievements in the dairy supply industry. 5. Q. Answer any one of the following questions in about 100 to 150 words. Maintaining primary health center at the workplace contributes to increasing the Productivity of workers. Explain the need and importance of primary health center in light of the statement. 5. A. Integrating a primary health center at the workplace is crucial for enhancing productivity among workers. By providing easy access, explain the need and importance of primary health center in light of the statement. 5. A. Integrating a primary health center at the workplace is crucial for enhancing productivity among workers. By providing easy access to health care services, employees can promptly address health concerns, leading to reduced absenteeism and improved overall well-being. Moreover, preventive measures and health education programs offered at the PHC can help prevent illnesses and promote healthier lifestyles among workers, further boosting productivity. Additionally, timely medical attention for minor ailments can prevent them from escalating into more serious health issues, ensuring a healthier and more productive workforce. Overall, the presence of a PHC not only prioritizes the health and well-being of employees but also positively impacts productivity by addressing health care needs efficiently within the workplace environment. 6. Q. Prepare any one project out of the following given below. Prepare a project work on a social networking site for the expansion of your newly Establish business under the following format. Introduction objectives. Types of social networking sites. Methods for using social networking sites. Conclusion. 6. A. Project title. Social networking site for business expansion. Introduction. Asterisk. In the ever-evolving digital landscape, businesses are continually seeking innovative ways to expand their reach and engage with their target audience. One effective strategy is the utilization of social networking sites. These platforms provide businesses with the opportunity to connect with potential customers, build brand awareness, and foster customer loyalty. Objectives, asterisk. 1. To establish a presence on social networking sites to reach a wider audience. 2. To enhance brand visibility and recognition. 3. To engage with customers and gather feedback for product improvement. 4. To drive traffic to the company website and increase sales. 5. To foster a community around the brand and encourage user-generated content. Types of social networking sites, asterisk. 1. General social networking sites. Examples include Facebook, 
Twitter, and Instagram, which cater to a wide range of demographics and interests. 2. Professional networking sites. Platforms like LinkedIn are focused on connecting professionals and businesses for networking and career development. 3. Visual-based social networking sites. Pinterest and Snapchat are platforms where users share and discover visual content such as images and videos. 4. Niche social networking sites. These platforms cater to specific interests or demographics, such as Reddit for discussion forums or Goodreads for book lovers. Methods for using social networking sites, asterisk. 1. Creating a profile. Establish a professional and engaging profile for the business on selected social networking sites. 2. Content creation. Develop relevant and high-quality content to share with followers, including product updates, industry news, and behind-the-scenes glimpses. 3. Engagement. Actively engage with followers by responding to comments, messages, and mentions to foster a sense of community and build relationships. 4. Advertising. Utilize paid advertising options on social networking sites to target specific demographics and increase brand visibility. 5. Analytics and optimization. Monitor key metrics such as reach, engagement, and conversion rates to evaluate the effectiveness of social media efforts and make adjustments as needed. Conclusion, asterisk. In conclusion, leveraging social networking sites for business expansion offers a myriad of benefits, including increased brand awareness, customer engagement, and sales growth. By strategically utilizing these platforms and employing effective methods, businesses can effectively reach their target audience and drive success in today's digital age. Q. Prepare any one project out of the following given below. Prepare project work on government policy for improving small-scale enterprises. During 21st century, follow the format given below. Introduction. Objectives. Sources of arranging capital. Government initiatives. Technological advancement. Conclusion. 6. A. Project title. Government policy for improving small-scale enterprises during the 21st century. Introduction. Ast the small-scale sector plays a pivotal role in the economic development of any nation by contributing to employment generation, income generation, and industrial production. Recognizing the importance of small-scale enterprises, governments across the globe have implemented various policies and initiatives to support their growth and development. Objectives Astra 1 to analyze the significance of small-scale enterprises in the economy. 2. To understand the challenges faced by SSEs in the 21st century. 3. To evaluate government policies aimed at improving the performance of SSEs. 4. To propose recommendations for enhancing the effectiveness of government initiatives. Sources of arranging capital, asterisk. 1. Financial institutions, SSEs can obtain capital from banks, credit unions, and microfinance institutions. 2. Government schemes, governments often offer subsidies, grants, and loans at favorable terms to SSEs. 3. Venture capital. Private investors and venture capitalists may provide funding to promising SSEs in exchange for equity. Government initiatives. As 1. Financial support. Governments provide financial assistance through schemes like the Small Industries Development Bank of India in India and the Small Business Administration in the United States. 2. 
skill development, various training programs and skill development initiatives are conducted to enhance the capabilities of SSEs. 3. Infrastructure development. Governments invest in infrastructure development to improve accessibility and connectivity for SSEs. 4. Policy reforms. Regulatory reforms are implemented to simplify procedures and reduce bureaucratic hurdles for SSEs. Technological advancement. As Technological advancements have revolutionized the operations of SSEs, enabling them to enhance productivity, reduce costs, and reach new markets. Adoption of digital technologies, automation, and e-commerce platforms has become imperative for the growth and competitiveness of SSEs in the 21st century. Conclusion in conclusion, government policies play a crucial role in fostering the growth and development of small-scale enterprises. By providing financial support, implementing supportive regulations, and promoting technological advancements, governments can create an enabling environment for SSEs to thrive and contribute significantly to economic prosperity and social welfare. However, continuous monitoring, evaluation, and refinement of policies are essential to address evolving challenges and ensure the sustained growth of SSEs in the 21st century.